Okay, so let us start with SNAP engine for IC engine. Okay, so first of all, just tell me, how do you differentiate a engine with a heat engine? Uh, 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 heat engine is something which uh, convert heats into uh, some useful work, while in normal engine uh, converts some, we can say, thermodynamic work into mechanical work. Thermodynamic work into mechanical work. Okay, and what is the meaning of external combustion engine and the internal combustion engine? So in internal combustion engine, the the work is done by means there is only one fluid uh, which produces work. Means the combustion product combustion product is used to get work in internal combustion engine. While in external combustion engine, uh, some other fluid, some secondary fluid, is used to get the work. Okay. Okay, that is okay. Okay, uh, just tell me, do you know anything about the Carnot cycle? Uh, yes, sir. Why the Carnot cycle is not practically usable in these conventional vehicles? So, uh, in the Carnot cycle, the there is a what you can say isothermal heat addition, which is uh, which is also reversible, and uh, the heat is added to very small temperature difference, which is not practically possible. While in autocycle, the heat addition is uh, adiabatic, uh, not adiabatic, isochronic heat addition in autocycle and isochronic heat addition. So the heat addition is somewhat become possible in autocycles uh, as compared to the car Carnot cycle. Okay. Okay. Out of these two cycles, which is completely reversible? Completely reversible is uh, Carnot cycle. It, it also has external and internal reversibility. Okay, what is the meaning of internal and external is, uh, internal reversibility? Uh, actually, internal reversibility means every process is in the cycle is reversible, uh, while the external reversibility means the addition of heat, the we can see in the cycle is also reversible process. Okay. Okay. Nowadays, if you see, uh, we are shifting toward our electrical vehicles. Okay. So, do you know some some of the advantages and the disadvantages of the electrical vehicles over the conventional vehicles? Uh, so the electrical vehicle have uh, uh, less moving parts and uh, electrical vehicles uh, what i can say is not generally ha heavy the electrical motor does not have much vibrations it is also cost effective and uh, give uh, less cost of running economic to the uh, what you can say economic running and what about the disadvantages the disadvantages uh, can be the range of the vehicle of the current uh, the current EVs. It is not uh, means the population large population generally don't buy it because of the range the range problem it has has and uh, also many charging sessions are not yet set for the EVs in the India so that is also one of the issues. Okay, okay. What are the alternative fuels which you can use in the engines other than petrol or diesel? Other than petrol and diesel. Uh, hydrogen H2, uh, hydrogen based engines are also available. Then uh, CNG, CNG based fuel is CNGs can also be used. Okay. And what is the meaning of blending of fuels? Uh, blending of fuels. No, sir. I don't have any idea about that. Okay. What is mean effective pressure? Mean effective pressure is uh, uh, what you can say. Means the average pressure for which uh, we get the same work for the same set volume. Means the pressure is continuously decreasing. So means we get the work done is uh, work get uh, work, the work we get is same uh, at constant pressure. Means at same pressure to so the same uh, set volume. Okay. Okay. How many stages of combustion are there in the SI engine as well as the CI engine? And what are those? So in the SI engine, the stages of combustion are three. In SI engine, first there is a ignition phase, then uh, then uh, uh, what is flame and propagation, and then after burning. While in CI engine, there is an ignition phase, then uncontrolled combustion, controlled combustion, and then the uh, after burning phase. Okay, and what is the ignition lag? Uh, delay, ignition delay. Ignition delay is uh, means the period uh, between the uh, the period between the spark and the uh, flame the flame that is formed. 
Yeah, it is the ignition delay and it's different in both SI and CI engine. Okay. Okay. And what uh in, in the in, uh, let us say if we talk about the CI engine. In that case, what kind of ignition delay is there? In CI engine, there are two types of chemical delay and physical delay. As the mm. and what is it what is the meaning of these two delays? Uh in physical delay means the for combustion, proper composition of fuel and air mixture is required. As the as in CI engine, the fuel is injected in the inside the engine, so it it requires some time to get the proper proper composition for combustion. While the chemical delay is while the chemical delay is because of the chemical reaction. Okay. 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 Do you know the crank? Uh, sorry. Do you know the uh, which one is uh, which one is that topic? Yeah. Do you know what is the meaning of spark advance? Spark advance. Yes, advancing uh, the spark. What is the meaning of this? Means uh, the spark ignite ignited before the cylinder reached to top dead center. Yes. Therapy. Means the spark is given to the inside the cylinder before the piston is reaches the top dead center. Okay, that is okay. That is almost correct. And what are the various parameters by which we can reduce the knocking in the SI engine as well as the CI engine? Uh, in the in the SI engine, knocking can be reduced by increasing the increasing the ignition delay means uh, and reducing the compression ratio in the SI in the SI engine. While in CI engine, it can be done by increasing the compression ratio and reducing the delay. In the SI engine, it it is also done by uh, increasing the uh, using better octane number fuel fuel of better octane number and CI engine uh, using the fuel of better C10 number. Okay, anything else? I think what is the effect of speed on the what is the effect of speed on the knocking in case of SI and CI engine? In the in the SI engine, the speed should be uh, the engine speed should be more. If the engine speed is more, then the knocking will be less. While in CI engine, it's opposite. Engine speed should be less for uh less knocking how does the knocking take place in the case of diesel engine in the case of diesel engine uh it is because if there is uh, more delay and uh, means more amount of fuel you get uh, inside the cylinder then the rapid combustion takes place and uh, there is a release of huge pressure because of the large amount of fuel present large energy is released and that results in combustion in ci engine oh, sorry knocking in ci engine mm -hmm. okay and what is flash point and fire point Sorry, sir. What is flash point and fire point? Flash point and fire point. No, sorry. Okay. What is viscosity index? Index. No. Sir. Okay. And what is the difference between the indicated power, back power, and the friction power? Uh, indicated power is the power we get at the piston. Uh, brake power is the power we get at the crankshaft and uh, Friction power is difference between indicated power and brake power. Okay. How do you calculate the brake power? Brake power is calculated by uh, by using the formula 2 pi nt by 60, where t is torque on the crank shot. Crank. What about the indicated power? Indicated power is uh, what we can say mean effective pressure in multiplied by swept volume. Mean effective pressure by multiplied by swept volume. Okay, okay, that is okay. There is no need to worry. Okay, just tell me one thing. In the case of uh, let us say if you talk about the fuel part. Okay. Uh, you have mentioned me that we can use the petrol. Okay, now tell me how do you calculate the octane number of a fuel? Uh, the octane number is basically is calculated by let us say uh, for a specific fuel. If we have to calculate the octane number, then we then we will have the comp we will have another mixture or contain some composition of uh n uh, n octane and uh, uh, normal sorry iso octane and uh, normal heptane and we will see uh, means uh, at which composition both the fuel has same knocking intensity then if the both the fuel has same knocking intensity so do you know the so do you know the value of the octane number and the cd number for the petrol and diesel which we normally use in india in uh, India, normally octane number uses uh, somewhere between 
ओके जय श्री देखो आपका जब आंसर प्रोवाइड कर रहा ठीक है कोई इशू नहीं है कुछ कुछ जगह पे आपने जो लैक करा वो उस पर एक बार जो देखना और एक चीज का ध्यान रखना अब आपके पास जो ऐसा इंजन सी इंजन सब कन्वेंशन इंजन होते जा रहे हैं ठीक है ना तो थोड़ा सा हो सके इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स के बारे में जरूर पढ़ना हाइड्रोजन फ्यूल की गाड़ी जरूर पढ़ना और आपके पास यहाँ पे जो इन्वायरमेंट है वो क्या क्या आपके पास नोटिफिकेशन नोटिफाई करती है रिगार्डिंग ब्लैंडिंग ऑफ फ्यूज वो पता होना चाहिए कि ब्लैंडिंग का मतलब क्या होता है कितनी ब्लैंडिंग वालों गवर्नमेंट अलाउ करती है यहाँ पे उसके बाद में जरूर देखना क्यों करते हैं क्या बेनिफिट आपको मिलते हैं ठीक है ना नेक्स्ट आपके पास यहाँ पे डीजल अगर हम इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स की बात करें इंडिया में लीडिंग कंपनी कौन सी है जो कि इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स से डील कर रही है क्या क्या लिमिटेशन होती है और आपके पास अगर आप देखोगे डीजल इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल के केस में जो बैटरी है ना वो एक बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करती है बैटरी की जो कॉस्ट है वो अराउंड फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ ओवरऑल व्हीकल आपके पास होती है तो उसके गाड़ी जरूर पड़ना आपके पास ठीक है ना कॉस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से कि आपके पास यहाँ पे कॉस्ट अगर हम देखें तो किसकी कॉस्ट ज्यादा पड़ती है इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल्स महंगे क्यों होते हैं राइट नाउ डेज एज कम्पेयर टू कन्वेंशनल व्हीकल्स अगर वो महंगे है तो क्यों पर कस्टमर से बाय करेगा ठीक है इसी जगह में जरूरी का पढ़ना एक्स्ट्रा था ठीक है बाकी आपके पास जो आपने मुझे बताया सर वो ठीक है बाकी कोई इशू नहीं है बाकी एज फॉर दैंपस प्लेसमेंट आप बस अभी नॉलेज है ओके एनीथिंग एल्स यू वांट टू आस्क ओके ओके जयेश मीटिंग